Hey, and welcome back to Vid Society. So I'm away from home right now, so I apologize if the audio isn't as good in this video. But what I wanted to do is make a quick video and show you guys how to add your site maps to the Google Search Console. I've been getting a lot of questions about this. A lot of people are getting error messages under the status. They don't know how to get the links for their site maps, and they really don't know the purpose of it. And so I'm going to try to explain all that in this video. So here we are inside of my Google Search Console, and you can see right here that I'm currently in my website for AmazingMB.com. And this is the website that I made here a little over a month ago from AI Wise Mind, using nothing but AI to automate this entire website, to build it out, making all these posts, asking questions. If you want to learn more about that, you can watch some of my previous videos on how I build these websites and set them up. So if we jump into the dashboard of this website, and I'm going to jump down to my Rank Math SEO plugin. So this is a plugin that I install on all of my um, AI websites, really any of my websites that I make, because it just simplifies a lot of the process of getting this done, including your sitemaps. Now I use the pro version of Rank Math. I'll put the link below this video if you want to go there and check it out. It does cost. There are a lot of benefits to it though. And the biggest one that I like is the option for the video sitemap. So with this, you do get a link where it will set up a video sitemap that you can submit to your Google Search Console and it helps your posts and your pages to get indexed much faster because Google then picks up the videos on these posts, which Google loves, and for some reason, they just tend to index those faster. So here we are within Rank Math, and what you wanna do is you wanna come down to where it says Sitemap and click on Settings. Now, when you're down here, it's gonna show you right here, your sitemap index can be found here. So you have the address to your website, and then after that, you have a slash, and then the sitemap. So this is what you wanna copy, everything after the slash, and you want to just go ahead and copy that. You're gonna jump back over to your Google Search Console. You're gonna click on sitemaps, and then right here where it says add a new sitemap, you're gonna paste that in there, and then click submit. Sometimes when you submit this down here, it's going to say fail or failure or something like that. And that's okay. This is common. Usually if you give it about five minutes and refresh the page, it'll show up as success. The other thing you want to do is if you do have the pro version of the Rank Math SEO plugin, is you want to go back and you want to scroll down, click on settings. And then here you can see the link to your video site map. And then once again, you're going to copy the ending of it that's after the slash, which is the video sitemap XML. You're going to come back and then you're going to paste that one in this box. Whoops, I just copied that. But anyway, you're going to paste that in this box and then click submit. And you can see mine is already down here where I submitted it back on August the 3rd. And then that is all you have to do. After that, you're just going to let it go. Sometimes when you do this, you may get an error and it may show zero under here where it didn't discover any type of videos. What you want to do in this case is if you've already launched your website, you already have a lot of posts on it, and then you just now decide to add the uh, Rank Math Pro onto your website, this is a little tip that will get you to refresh everything so it will pick up all of these videos on your sitemap. Because if I was to go to my video sitemap link here and open it up, you're going to see these are all the videos that it's picked up on all the posts. If you click that link and if it does not show any videos on your website and you know you have videos on your website, what you want to do is come back here and you want to go down to status and tools, click on database tools, and then scroll down to where it says generate video schema for old posts and pages. So you're going to click on generate and OK. Now you can see the conversion started. A success message will be shown here once the process completes. So you want to give this a few minutes, let it rebuild the video sitemap. Then after that, you can try resubmitting it again to the Google Search Console. The first thing you want to do, though, is just make sure you go back to that link, click on it, and make sure the videos are now showing up. So you'd scroll back down, go to your video sitemap. Remember, you're only going to have this video sitemap if you have the pro version of Rank Math. Open this link up and then make sure you now see videos here. Another thing I'm going to suggest to help your post to get indexed much faster is to make sure on the sidebar of whatever WordPress theme you're using, add a widget for recent post. Because if Google decides to come to this specific post and index it, 
it's then going to find all these other links over here in your sidebar to these other articles. It then may go to these other articles and also index those. Now there's also a WordPress plugin you can install. I believe it's called Random Posts. And what it'll do is change these links every time to different posts when the pages are refreshed. And this is another great way to get a variety of different posts showing up in your sidebar and potentially having Google to crawl those and getting them indexed much faster. Now, if it's been a couple weeks and if you notice that you're not getting very many posts indexed at all, another thing you can do is you can actually come down here and you can just take a post. Let me just right click this one and copy the link address. You can go back to your Google search console and up here at the top where it says inspect any URL, you can paste that in here. Click enter and give it a second. It's going to tell you that it's retrieving information. It says it is not in Google. It says this page is not indexed, but down here we can request indexing. So if we click this, it's going to test to see if it can be indexed and then it's going to submit it. This does not guarantee that it will be indexed, but it seems like when you do this, you have a much better chance of getting these posts indexed in Google. So you may want to do this with maybe five, 10, or even 15 of your posts. Just add the links up here, go through the same process, submit them, each one of them individually directly to Google say, hey, listen, I want you to index these posts. And so when it goes to those posts and index them, hopefully it's going to find some of those other links to other posts on your website and also index them in Google too. So those are just a few of the tips that I use to make sure that my posts are getting indexed in Google. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you on the next one.